Yeah. So I'm just going to do my best to mimic, but uh, no expectations. And on that note, we're going to go ahead and cue the music. Do you get all dressed up just for me, bro? You know. He's <laughs> dressed up. Hell yeah, you're looking fit, bro. What up? All right. What is going on, guys? I've been talking about this video for a couple weeks now. I'm here at Delphi Disc Golf Course in Olympia, Washington, and I'm going to introduce my special guest. You guys have seen him on the channel before, but here he is, Mr. Kyle Crabtree, sponsored what? by Discraft and PackX. You guys have seen him on the channel before, but you, what you probably don't know about Kyle is he's also a two-time world champion. You finished, was it fifth at Beaver State? Fifth at Beaver State one year, best finish, yeah. He beat Ken Climo once by 22 strokes. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to fact check him on that because that yeah. sounds crazy. But here we are. We're gonna, we're gonna go through the course, and I'm gonna ask Kyle some questions as we go along. We're here on hole four. Kyle, tell us about hole four really quick. Oh. Yellow pond here to start. Ob on the right. That whole path on the right side. Ob, no, no trouble really on the left. You just kind of want to throw your straightest, longest disc up the hill without. So are you attacking? Are you trying to park this hole? I'm attacking. Yes. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. I am throwing my Z crank. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna turn it off. <laughs> All right, Kyle. So this first question is from me. So let's say you're in a tournament. You are down by two strokes, and there's less than five holes left. But let's say the next people behind you in second and third are only one stroke behind you. So what is your attack mode from there? Are you thinking, let me get aggressive and try and take the lead, or are you thinking, let me stay on the podium? No, I'm trying to birdie out and win. <laughs> nice birdie and every hole. Just birdie every hole? Birdie every hole, yep. Boom, champion's mentality. <laughs> Okay guys, so hole, we're going straight to hole five. We have 460 feet downhill. We got, uh, is it hazard? Uh, so I know the sand is hazard. Is the golf green hazard or is it? Uh, I, think, I think green is OB. Okay, so we got Man, golf okay. green, go, golf green OB and the basket's right there in that mouth. It's about 460 feet. Kyle, what is your attack on this hole? Are you uh, going for it? No, I'm going for it. Yeah, it's downhill, you gotta go for it. All right, let's see it. Here we go. Safe. That's a put. Get up. Get up. Playable. Playable. All right, another question from me. What would you say is the single most thrown disc in your bag? Ooh. Um, I think it's a tie, honestly, between my, my pink Buzz SS and my uh, Big Z Undertaker. Okay. They fly the same, they just, one's mid-range. One's faster, yeah. One mid-range, one fairway driver, so. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Did you say you've never birdied this hole? Yeah, I've never birdied this hole. Okay, so we got, what does that say? 447. 447 over water, the basket, you can't even see it. The basket's up around the corner to the right. Golf green, hazard off to the right. Just. It's a funky hole for a right-handed backhand player to get to. So you're just trying to give yourself like a big jump putt at best. Try not to go out of bounds and yeah, try to make a long one. All right, let's see it. See if I can get one.
Looks good. Oh, that's OB long. Get down. Oh, okay, we're good. All right, Kyle, this is, uh, so I got two more questions from me and I was gonna save this one for the end of the video, but I, I gotta know. First impression of birdies by Ben versus current impression. <laughs> try, try to be about 80% serious. Oh, no, I'm being 100% serious. I okay. thought it was pars by Ben. He spelled his name wrong. <laughs> <laughs> now he's birdies by Ben. Okay, okay. Definitely, fast improvement. Thank you, thank you. I, I will take it. <laughs> so this is where we are. So like, I'm generally thinking you're going through that gap, but something tells me you might do something else. Yeah, I mean, it looks like an undertaker from here. Uh, 10 speed? Yep, 10 All right. speed. Nine speed. This man just threw a nine speed approach. It's amazing. All right, so hole seven, we got a relatively reachable par four. The basket's about 500 feet back there. Kyle, what's the what's the play? Uh, the play is there's a distance driver out there. Make sure you turn it right because there is OB left. Okay. Um, so make sure I don't go left. I throw a roller on this one, actually. You throw a roller? Okay. Roll, roll it up the hill. All right, let's see it. Oh, that got down perfect. Kind of bails out right, gives me a nice open approach in there. Bailed out a little more than I wanted, but it's up there. What is this you're doing your approach with, Kyle? Uh, this is a TI Roach. Okay. Be this butter. I think the stiffer plastic. More little, stable? A little more stable. Yeah. Okay. Just trying to, trying to nose up it, kind of set it in there. A shot. Yep. Yes, sir. For the for the blue burial as well. All right, hole eight, 330 feet. It's right up there off to the left. I've seen a lot of people go wide of the tree with like a high-speed driver. Kyle, what is your play? I go high-speed driver up the middle and we got left and right, so I'm going force. Okay. Big skip. Oh yeah. Nice. Too low. Well, that was just a bad shot. I need to throw another one. All right, Kyle. So I got one more question for myself before we take the fan questions. So with everything you've accomplished and how long you've been playing, does Kyle have any more disc golf goals for himself? Uh, I mean, yeah, just always win the next one. Just keep playing as long as I can. Heck yeah. Any like big events you want to like podium at, top five? No, I want to win them all. Just win them all. Win them all. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. Hmm. Good work. Bars. Boom. All right, so this hole, hole nine, we got 245 feet. You got OB golf green, 
the basket's just kind of right there. I don't really like the term must get, but Kyle, would you say this is a must get, especially as tournament, tournament wise? Yep. All right, what are you going with? I'm going with Z-Wash. All right. Out, out along the right side. All right. That also was a little short. Ooh! All right, guys, so this one we got 375 feet. Pretty simple shots, so just basically a big old hyzer. The thing is we got OB left of those stakes. I think they're about maybe 25 at the most feet to the left of the basket. Kyle, what is your what is your play? I go Z Vulture. Vulture. And the Vulture's compared to what as far as like like say an end of a lineup? Uh, uh nothing really. It's kind of its own its own shot. Is it a what is it, a 10 speed? It's a 10 speed kind of overstable fairway driver, but not super overstable, not straight. So it's Okay. It's right in between. Alright, let's see it. Alright. Oh yeah, that's parked. There you go. All right, I'm ready. And I still get the air bounce. Oh, Kyle. Yeah. I'm trying to do it while this wind is down. Oh, you suck. <gasps> all right so hole 12 we have 267 feet you guys can barely see the top of the basket right there i say the best place to hit this main gap but kyle what's your play i go buzz this us down the middle down the middle so you're aiming for the main gap yes okay really all right That. all right hole 13 278 it's pretty simple it's a, it's a straight tunnel shot right down the middle and i'm going to turn around and guess that kyle's about to throw his buzz ss yeah. yes all right <laughs> Ninety, maybe a hundred feet out. No way. Whoo, good shot though. Too low. Ew, that was gross. All right, guys, we're coming down the stretch of the course. We're on hole fourteen. The last five holes of this course are pretty picturesque, especially a couple of them. So we're on hole fourteen. It's a very interesting shot. So we got three hundred and eighty feet downhill the whole way ob right the whole way ob left kyle what is the play man i go vulture I vulture to throw straight get down almost pin high and then let the stability of the disc bring it back left all right let's see it that looks perfect Oh, that's too early. Oh. 
All right, Kyle, so Tyler Couch wants to know, what is something you do during a long backup in a tournament where you have to rip the next tee shot? Uh, I just try to stay loose as I can. You know, I always bring a chair so you sit down, take some pressure off the back, and just, just try to stay loose. Yeah. Do arm circles, whatever. Just, just stay loose. Nice. Yeah. Cash. Woo! All right, guys, this is another cool shot. We got 425. Little little gap to throw through. I believe we got OB right the whole way, correct? Yep. Okay. So the basket is right there between those trees. So, Kyle, I'm guessing you're going to flip something up and try and get it to go straight. Z crank. All right, Z crank. Let's see it. That's perfection. Yeah, not short. Not short. Stop drifting. It's not terrible. All right, so Mike Spore wants to know, what is a good technique for a beginner or rec player to practice to work on getting more distance? Um, I would get more of your body involved, get a nice neutral stability disc, work on throwing it flat, and then, um, yeah, exercise from there, build up your strength. So when you say, like, like neutral disc, like, what speed do you think is a good, like, speed I mean, for like a beginner? I like 7-8 speed. 7-8 speed. I know, like, a Sidewinder is a good disc. Mm -hmm. Avenger SS. Um, neutral. And then work your way up from there. Don't Don't start out getting the biggest fastest disc you're not going to learn your right form got you start small work up from there sweet nice quiet what do you think about that buddy sorry sorry we'll be quiet All right, guys, hole 16 is a signature hole. 585, all uphill. Can't really see it fully from here. We got an elevated basket. And I'm guessing off the tee is a position shot, but what are we going with? Uh, I'm going with a nuke. It's pretty understable, but yeah, I just want to land in the middle. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's just pass like the old tee pad, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. All right, so this is actually a great hole to ask this question, but Andrew S. wants to know, what makes a hole great? Like explaining what makes a hole a bonus birdie, what makes a hole a must get? What's your intake on that? Uh, I think designing a good hole it's got to be fair for a right-handed player left-handed player um you know depending on the distance you want a shot where you can control angles and whoever does that the best they're in the middle ne next chance for uh getting a birdie from there so all right so what would you say is like what would you describe as like a bonus birdie like say you're in the woods and you know, you got like well, a tight I shot. I think bonus birdie is if you do everything right, good angles, good distance, everything, and you're still, you know, 50 out and you bang one from there, that's a bonus birdie. Heck yeah. Yeah. Get down. Oh. Get around it. All right, Kyle, I got an on the spot question for you. What is a good technique to practice when you have like awkward footing on a demanding shot like this where it's uphill are you like focusing on your hips are you focusing on like uh, i, I kind of get a little bit of a wider base and focus on my core and, and really putting spin on the disc okay that makes sense yep say this is a tournament putt are you laying this up no, going for it going for it? going for it going for it today and in a tournament let's oh, yeah. see it
Nice pot. All right, guys, I'm gonna see if I can vlog style this one. Tap it in. There we go. <laughs> All right, so this one's pretty simple. We got 357 downhill hyzer. We got OB left. What are you going with? Big Z Undertaker. All right. Short. Can't tell if that's parked or a little short. Sure. He's got him throwing it weird. Oh, that's OB. Yeah, that's OB. Ugh. All right, Kyle. So Atticus Abraham wants to know what is a good way to learn how to settle tournament nerves or preparing for a tournament? Obviously, you've been playing for 19 years, but for a younger player, what's good advice that you have for them? Uh, you just got to play. Play a lot. I mean, that's all I did, really. Just play a lot. You got to – nerves are going to come. You just got to deal with it. Do you feel like even after playing for 19, almost 20 years, do you ever feel like you get nervous? Yeah, sometimes. Yeah? Yeah. See? It happens to everybody, yeah, guys. It does. Oh. Oh! All right, guys, we're here at hole 18, 290 downhill. A couple of things to factor in, though. We got Hazard Sand Trap. We got an OB Green. And then you guys can barely see it, but we got Stakes OB Long. Kyle, what is the play? I go Sidearm Raptor. Super overstable? Yep. And he's parked. Oh no. Oh yeah. Okay, Kyle, so one last one last question for you. Christian Reed wants to know, what is, if any, what is the biggest improvement you want to see in disc golf over these next few years? Uh, I think it, the last couple of years, it's grown a lot. So mm -hmm. just keep growing at that pace and hopefully the manufacturers can keep up with the demand and all that stuff. I mean, I think we're doing good right now. Heck yeah. Keep doing what we're doing. All right, guys, so that is it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I believe I finished negative four. Kyle at negative five. Just kidding. He finished neg nine. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, again, thank you so much. Give Kyle a follow on Instagram. I'm going to leave his tag below. Follow PackX as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Oh, nice putt, Jada. <laughs> Just a joke, man. Just a joke.